What brings you to this Dave and Buster's, Michelle? I work here. Yeah. What time are you off? Whenever you get off. Oh, I'm good at getting off. Stand-up comedy, stand-up comedy. Burr, burr, burr. Mr. Wallace and Mr. Boston are on tour. Where's Michael Boston going to be? I will tell you. March 17th, Salt Lake City. There's like 30 tickets left, so go get it. April 16th, Los Angeles, California at the Troubadour Theater. Holy shit, come out. It's going to be a goddamn blast. May 11th, I will be in Buffalo, New York. November 2nd, I'll be in Houston, Texas. And November 3rd, I'll be in Dallas, Texas. Go get them tickets. He listened to me yelling about feet goddamn blaucomedy.com blaucomedy.com mr wallace oh, let him know baby are you that guy bow, 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 bow. i am that guy and tickets are moving and grooving there's like a handful of tickets left in portland and seattle march 12th and 13th then we're going to new york fucking city town hall baby just hit 90 percent sold out let's go so let's go to 990 we're moving baby that's March 24th, and then the 25th, we're in Boston the next night. First show at the Wilbur sold out. Boom. Added a late show at the Wilbur. Boom. Got to 80% sold out. Get the mo fucking tickets. And we're going to Durham, North Carolina, Variety Playhouse in Atlanta, Georgia, April 2nd. We added a late show April 2nd. Then we got Majestic Theater, Dallas, Texas, April 14th. April 14th, Dallas, Texas. The biggest theater on the Are You That Guy tour is in Dallas, Texas. Texas, y'all fucking showing love. It's moving and grooving, baby. Then we got the night after that. We're staying in Texas, April 15th at the Paramount Theater in Austin, Texas. Then I'm going to run through the rest of them. Buffalo, April 29th. April 30th, Toronto. May 12th, Huntington, Long Island. May 13th. Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, slap your mother with your own dick. May 14th, Baltimore. May 18th, San Diego, new date added. San Diego, San Diego. New date. The first show in San Diego sold out, so we added the Wednesday the night before, May 18th. And then we're wrapping it all up at the Novo in Los Angeles downtown, which is also fucking moving, baby. Tickets are moving, and so are y'all. And I, and I really appreciate it. it. It's been incredible. See you there, TrevorWallsComedy.com. On the first day of Christmas, no, my true love it's gave not to me Christmas. My Wait. true love gave to me. Okay, well, what's what's a partridge the modern in a pear tree? First of all, what is either of those? Don't know. Pears a pear tree, trees? maybe. But what's a pear tree? Pear trees, like one tree with pears or double trees? Pear. Double tree. Pear hotel. Salt. Double tree. Sex. You know, Marriott owns like every hotel ever. Uh huh. Oh, like, oh, this is the A loft. These are nice. And then it's like, buy Marriott. Buy Marriott. Yeah. What is, what is it? What are they doing with that? Marriott's Amazon. Is, are they just pimping hoes? Yeah. They're just like, they're, they're suddenly behind. Is that how Pepsi, Pepsi owns, Pepsi owns Mountain Dew? Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm drinking Mountain Dew. Wrong, bitch. That's Mountain, Pepsi. Mountain Dew's Pepsi? Yeah. I thought, so what's Coke's version? Mellow Yellow? Uh, I think maybe Coke has Sprite. Well, Coke has Sprite. But I'm saying like the, I, don't, I don't know any of these things. I just said it with confidence, hoping that you. I guys... think Mountain Dew is owned by Coke. Because what's Coke's response to Mountain Dew? You can't. Well, you can't. What are you putting out? It's gonna Mellow go yellow. side by side trash. It's. I think it might be the same thing. You can I mean, try. Of, yeah. A good Mountain Dew? Code Red? I saw a Mountain Dew in a vending machine over this weekend in Columbus, and I was like, I might do it. You should have done it. Should have done it. What are you showing us, Gabriel? This is a map. Oh, this Kellogg's, is Nestle. Nestle owns everyone, and they make hot chocolate. What? Mars. This picture <laughs> I was won't just get gonna anything. say. This is bullshit. What? What the hell is Every going? Every website has too many ads. Yeah, this sucks. I'll tell what you what. What is going on? I've 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 said this before. How how many of y'all clicking on cookies? I've been accepting cookies like it's nothing. And? Hey, accept cook. Yes. But you ever say no? I do, but then the website just fucking shuts down like it's got COVID. I'm like, except booster. I don't care. Let me look at this porn site. They be asking for cookies on porn site? I don't know. They don't rock hard. Who knows? Dude, when I was like 16 and porn sites would be like, are you 18? I'm like, bitch, shut up. The fact, dude, can you imagine some Mormon fuck clicking no? Yeah. You're already there. Dude, they're not even allowed on the internet. Mormons? I don't know. I don't know either. I still think about the two kids from my high school that are Mormon, and they when we found out he never jerked off, <laughs> I didn't, it was like the holiest thing I've ever seen. It's like, damn, bro, we should sell you on eBay or some shit. Oh yeah, sell sell the jack off virginity. How much do you think you get? 
If you just, for some odd reason, for some re went back in the past and you just did, you still had your virginity, whatever. How much do you think you deserve virginity online for right now? What are you you being Trevor like, Wallace and all of a sudden right it came now. out that you were a virgin. How much do you think you sell it on, online for? It's like somebody gets to take it or they get yeah. the rights to it, like an NFT. Well, funny. <laughs> for one, funny. Two, I mean like sell it so you so, so then you get banged gets out. The, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, dude, I don't know if it'd be that high. I don't know what the virginity market looks 5K? like. 5K? I think maybe more. Yeah. Yeah, because it yeah. I, here's the thing, dude. Motherfuckers I, are getting I, here's I think it would be higher if <clears throat> I took somebody's virginity. Whoa. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> but I'm saying. No, I know every. I, if some I college girl's like, I've been holding out forever. Yeah, yeah. And I want the special man to take it. It'd be higher if I was like, oh, I will do the deed. Oh, if she. Oh, so she's selling it and you're buying? Or no, you're, no, no, no. I'm. Yeah, this is. She's paying you to take her virginity. Yes, that's yeah. wild. Well, it's supply and demand economics, right? Because there's only one Trevor. So if she really wants Trevor to take it. That's what I'm saying. I, willing okay. to pay that's whatever. what I'm saying. Now I'm understanding. Now right? I'm understanding. Yeah. There, I mean, there's women online that be that be selling. There was a woman recently. I think me might even talked about it. Selling, I'd have selling a bidding war. Yeah. If I if I yeah, I'd have a bidding war. Yeah, but then that's weird. You then know what? Some rich dude just on the outskirts of Nebraska is like, hear ye, hear ye. Oh yeah, that would definitely happen. Let me tell you something. Whoever bought my virginity ain't going to be a girl. I'm getting plowed out in Utah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm lost. What's if happening? If I all of a sudden was a virgin again and I was selling my virginity online, you yeah. think you're like, oh, I'm a heterosexual male. I would, I would prefer a woman buying it. Nope. That's not what's happening. Oh, it's going to be oh, a dude who buys it. Oh, this is jail economics. I'm getting plowed out by a, like in the middle of a John Deere tractor. This is what I, this is what I saw. <laughs> Auction's virginity Whoa. for 3.9 mil on... Oh, I did see this. 3.9 mil. That's a yeah. lot of confidence for your vagina. So it's an escort site, I guess. Sold it to an Abu Dhabi-based business. Man. Yeah, see, that's what it would be. That, oh, that's yeah. what I mean. It wouldn't, You'd have to overnight ship that coochie. Yeah. You'd have to use fucking Amazon Yeah, I put Prime. an asterisk next to it. It like, must be in a 30-mile radius. Yeah, I don't want to get in a crate. <laughs> So this, but so this is an auction. So it's like an eBay for virginity. This is what I would do with my virginity. I have that guy that's like, I'd have that guy eat me out. Huh? I'd have that guy eat me out. Yeah, dude, I'd turn around. Can you imagine that? Just turn around, get a doggy style. Have that dude behind you on your asshole. Soul! Every time he nuts, he yells soul. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Gavel, gavel. 3.9. I mean, bruh. You know what's funny? Huh? It's going to be bad. You can lie. Oh, I'm a virgin. Oh, yeah. I, I think I said this. I saw the whole thing. I remember they were like, oh, the hymen, if it's broken, you're a virgin. No. Yeah, it's a hoax. Or broken. Yeah, the, the whole hymen thing's a hoax. Yeah. So really? This mm -hmm. lady could have got plowed out in the back of a Sears <laughs> two years ago. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but that was for free. Yeah, this but is for this gentleman, 3.9. Do you think they had a barter? Mm -hmm. Like he came in, it was like three eight, and she was like four, and then they're like me in the middle. I think it was an auction. So ah. the funny thing about an auction, she should, she could have sold it for eleven dollars in a fucking U-Haul truck. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what the opening bid was. Yeah, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. I would like to see the men that were in the auction. It's like a bunch of guys you went to high school with, and there's a bunch of men who own oil. Yeah. O why is oil like oil tycoons? Mm -hmm. People with like like oil money. Yeah, that's crazy money. Yeah. Oil money's dumb. I tell you what, now oil money's dumb. Oh, it's through the roof. The roof. It's just nuts. Uh, it it just makes the car go. That's why I think it's so surprising how Elon Musk hasn't been shot in the head yet. They shoot. <laughs> they shot JFK for like what? Because he banged a Marilyn Monroe. My facts aren't right, but you guys know what I mean. Wait, what, what's your take on this? What JFK? No, 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 no. I'll tell you. There was no, a second gun Elon. on the grassy knoll. What is a knoll? Nobody knows. A hill? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's just I would hill. guess. If I had yeah. small tits, I'd tell people I had two knolls. I love it. I and say my I cock is holes. as big as a knoll. Anyway, so wait, why, why would you say people are against Elon? Because he's taking because away he's, from oil? Yeah. Because if everyone's driving electric cars, there's no need for... Well, there's still some need for oil, but not yeah. for... Think about how many cars are in the world. Okay. Please don't make me feel stupid. Okay. okay. How is oil made? Or is it just there? 
it's Oil's taken out of the ground. There. Yeah, it's okay. taken out of the ground, but then they have to like refine it to be used with stuff. Yeah, there's massive yeah. refineries and there's chemicals that go into the refinery that also people get Brita back down from. Yeah. 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 Also, weird, I've said this before, I don't give a fuck, I'll say it again. Corn, gas. <laughs> Corn gets fucked up. It corn, gets used. popcorn, and then it makes a toy to Yaris go. <laughs> what is going on? Gas is corn? No, ethanol is corn. <laughs> ethanol? <laughs> is that your grandma? That's my grandma. Wait, is Whoa. this? Whoa. This is a girl that auctioned it. Uh, How did she not make more than 3.9? Because, god damn. <laughs> She's going to upgrade that phone pretty soon, huh? Oh. That iPhone 5S, maybe? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Her iPhone 5 is going to have an iPhone 5 pretty soon. God damn. Okay. So I like her quote here. She says, every woman has to decide on her own if it's worth it to give her virginity for free to a boyfriend who will maybe later break up with her rather not than maybe. selling it. 100% going to break up with That's her. That's that entrepreneur shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Why not get cootered out in Abu Dhabi while looking at a camel making 3.9 mil versus getting banged out in a Corolla by a dude named Chet that's going to come in three seconds? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Dude. Yeah, he doesn't even buy you Gatorade yeah. the next morning. Zero. But what does this will say? It says Cinderella Escorts. Is that what it's called? Yeah. A German-based company. Okay. Uh, website which... Germany is <laughs> whores. They're all whores. <laughs> which encourages <clears throat> young women to auction their virginity. This is not great. No. To wealthy older men, says the winning bid of 2.5 mil euro, 3.87. I'm just reading out loud, which is not great. But, yeah. <laughs> but what, all I... Oh, they say that. So the okay. winning bid, they say one of the other guys that bid was a quote unquote Hollywood actor. A Hollywood actor sold a virginity or bought? No, it was one of the bidders on this on this girl. Buddy, for the but quote unquote Hollywood actor, his fucking dad owns Cumin. And then he said he, he did one commercial for Kraft when he was 18 and he's a Hollywood actor. You know what I mean? Look, it's if not he, Tom Hanks. What could, if it could is? Could be Chad Hanks. Could be Get Chad. him on the show. <laughs> but for 2.4 mil? You don't just have 2.4 mil laying around. I mean, buddy, how down bad are these motherfuckers? I mean, th four what, mil. Also, what are you talking about when she gets to the house? You just dropped 3.8. Talking. 3.9. <laughs> I know, but like. Talking. Uh, I know, but it's not like you open you the door. You just flew around in a fucking helicopter. You I know, talking? but like, is there any like, hey, how you doing? Like, settle in. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't think there's any like, like, the feel it out. She walks in and she goes, hella, shut up. <laughs> no, I, I'm, do you think I'm just joking. Any, but, do you think there's any I afterwards post nut? Is she like, well, that was good. That's her? Uh, yes, this is her. Oh, okay. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> too low. I thought, I thought four mil was too high. <laughs> Four mil? Wait, wait, this is fascinating. It says, the girls all have sex with condoms. What if I stop there? Uh, we <laughs> organize a hotel, stay close to the hotel as the contact person in case there's problems. Okay. And the girl can cancel the meeting anytime. There's some girls who are looking for a buyer for the virginity on their own. It is safer to run this on our platform. How, what, is their, what is their cut? Um, I'll tell you what. They 20%. at least made. What is it? 20%. They 20. made 20%. <laughs> So how much do they get off that deal? I'm not going to math. Um, a lot of money. 500? Damn it. No. 500K? No, 500 would be 30%. I don't know. I can't do math. Yeah, neither can I. 20% of 4 mil? It's 800K. Siri. It's 800K. You're right. Yeah, because 10% is yeah, three. Yeah, it's 800K. I just, I actually tried. It's just so funny on the show that I never like actually try to like do a thing. I just go, I don't know. Yeah, 800K. <clears throat> but I will say though, I wish... That I did this for me. For your virginity. Yeah. Uh, but how much would you sell it for? My my dick virginity? The funny thing is, uh, a dude selling virginity. their virginity is like, I'm coming in 14 seconds. Yeah. So like, what is that worth? Young cum? That's <laughs> the name of my album. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is... You know what's wild is oh. whoever wrote this article is making... You know, maybe 50k a year. No, and they're just in tears, just like, oh, yeah, <laughs> God damn it. Dude, <laughs> every single time. And only fans girl tells me how much she makes, I weep. But I would, I mean, I don't know every the interview I've ever seen where they're like, I'm not telling how much I make. That just lets me know that they make at least like 250k a month. And well, they usually say after, like, I'm not telling, yeah. 
fine. Two hundred fifty k a month. But anyone that says how much they make, bags. Anyone that does not, not bags. I, uh, we've said this before. What, what do you mean? I mean, what I'm saying, man, is if you're like, I'm a sort of OnlyFans, because there are. It's just like Patreon. There's some podcasts that have a Patreon that does well, and there's some podcasts that do Patreon and they make eleventeen dollars. And it's the same thing with OnlyFans. I'm lost. You're out there. You're out there showing your cooter and your titties. And there are no, but, women but I'm saying there. like the girls that are doing that are like well known and like on interviews and podcasts. And they're like, right. how much do you make? I'm like, oh, I'm not saying you're like bagged out. Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought dude, you meant I'm in not, the grand scheme. I'm not talking about a girl you met in the line of a subway. I'm talking about this like this like you, the, the people who are already notable for doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bag. How bags. much money is OnlyFans worth? Holy Toledo! They get a cut of. Oh, how much do they get? They get a cut what just... What percentage does OnlyFans get? Isn't that insane that they get a cut just for having an infrastructure? Bro, Uber gets anything. a cut on people who are driving, and they ain't got to drive. That's crazy. We're Everything, all getting pimped out. Everyone. Marriott, Doubletree. Who makes the cookies? <laughs> God damn. Trevor, guess what, dude? What? It is 2022, bro. You know what I promised myself in 2022? You'd stop sucking feet. Well, I fucked up. I also <laughs> promised myself that I was going to eat better and go to the gym. And guess what? I am feeling like I'm eating better. Are you trying to tell me that you started taking athletic greens? Buddy, we both actually started taking athletic greens. I take it daily. Dude, I got a little, <clears throat> the little, it like spins around. You know, people use the froth milk. Yeah. I got a little thing that spins around my AG1. Buddy. Let me and ask you a question. It makes it so clear and smooth. It, it's it's phenomenal. What Can I tell you what it is? Please do. Okay. With one delicious scoop of one. AG1, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food, <laughs> sourced <laughs> super greens, probiotics, <laughs> and <laughs> aptogens <laughs> to help you start your day off right, okay? This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy recovery focus, and aging, all of the <laughs> things. And let me tell you something, dude. They have uh, convenient travel packs, which are incredible. We go on the, road. on the road. Yeah, I take them Buddy. on the road. It doesn't taste like, you know, every time I see juice at the grocery store, I think about getting it, but it always has a weird, too juicy taste. This doesn't even taste like, like all, it, it doesn't taste like as much nutrients that's in it. It should taste bad, but it doesn't taste bad at all. It, just, it, it tastes kind of like a protein powder. It's like a, the consistency I of it. I put it in my protein shakes. After I go to the gym, I put it right in my protein Smart. shake. Feel great. I honestly, this is what I like about it so much is there's so much mystery with like eating right or whatever. This just makes me feel like I am eating right. Do you know what I mean? I just, yeah. there's, just there's so much misinformation floating around. I just put it in there. I feel like I am no, I'm eating. Leveling up. I went from Flintstone vitamins to this. So I really feel like I'm being an adult. Yeah. But look, stuff's great. Uh, you can do a subscription service. You can do a one-time service. And what's great about it is it costs them less than three dollars a day, and you're investing in your health. And it's cheaper than your cold brew habit or something else. You might have a habit too, but I'm not going to say that because heroin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Use promo code Gabe. Anyways, <laughs> all jokes aside, hard CTA. Okay. <laughs> whoa! 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 Oh, hey. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into cold and flu season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. Just do this. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply wow. of immune-supporting vitamin D. Wow. D stands for not that. <laughs> and five <laughs> free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash socks. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash socks. Take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. God damn. Free smoke, free smoke. Hey, free smoke, free smoke. Hey, hey. man, that's a Drake song. That is. But you know what else I'm talking about today huh. is free. All right. What is it? It's, it's a them. premium smoke-free, spit-free, tobacco-free nicotine pouch that can be used anywhere and comes in a variety of flavors and strengths available in high impact strengths 9 12 15 or their new low nicotine options like three and six milligrams yeah. convenient and discreet unlike traditional nicotine products free spitless and smoke free so it can be enjoyed anywhere what do you you know how much I, I I did two lippers in college and people just spitting all over the place it's actually disgusting one time I drank a dip on. cup Whole Pepsi can full of dip cup. Yeah. Took a sip, 
wanted to assassinate myself. It was awful. But with these things, no spit. No spit. It's it's easy. The the clean out is nice because the last thing you'd want is like long cut all up in your teeth. Yeah. And it's just it's a mess. Trying to make out with a girl. She's like, oh, oh, you're a bush. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm a human. Yeah. All right. And they literally have one that tastes like wintergreen. It's like you Winter, got a mouthful yeah. of gum. It's they're great, man. Hold I actually, up. I gave uh, my, my dad is not usually a nicotine guy, but he was like, you know, I have a lot of work to do. And I had heard something on a podcast somewhere about how nicotine helps you focus. Yeah. And, you know, and Does it, it could be like a helpful chemical. Wow. He was like, let me try one of these bad boys. And so he, he put in one and he was like, I got some of the best work done in my life. Whoa, really? I'll tell you the best work that I do is poop. I poop after these. Oh, you poop after these? Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, this, if you're, if you're feeling a little jammed up, this is not a science statement, but it could be. If you're jammed up and you take one of these, you will shit. Okay. You will shit. Well, it's nicotine. Dude, so if nicotine you're getting makes ready, shit. If you're getting ready for a colonoscopy, you don't need to do what they're saying. Well, you're throwing a free thing. Uh, I was more so thinking uh, if if you've been a couple of days traveling, a little dehydrated, and yeah. you're like, I need to, you pop one of these bad boys in. Sheesh. No, I, I used to pack these when I would edit, you know, but they're great. But look. Uh, Here's what I got to say to you. <laughs> what? If this sounds like something you're trying to do, if you're trying to get away from smoking or you want a, a, you know, a cleaner alternative, check, check them out, dude. Freepouch.com. That's F-R-E pouch.com. F-R-E pouch.com. Use your discount code STIVSOCKS, all capital, one word, STIVSOCKS, to get 30% off their order for a limited time. All right? I, and the guys, I got to say this. Nicotine what? is an addictive chemical. It is. For adult use only, okay, you must be 21 or older to purchase and use free products. Please use them responsibly. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine, nicotine is an addictive chemical. Void where prohibited. God damn. Only van six, 20%. Too much. 20? Dude, they're making tw- they're making 20% off all this for fucking writing Ruby code. That's wild. I they mean, went to two years you of coding. It and they school. will come. Literally, <laughs> come! Wow, four mil, four mil to get plowed out in Abu Dhabi. Uh, but imagine, Good dude, for her. I want to hear how rich the guy was who did it. Because if that was all the savings, that's the worst post nut regret ever. Holy shit! <laughs> you, the second you come, somebody knocks on your door, he put to repossess your whole castle. I mean, it is. <laughs> it is actually wild. That they're like, requ- if you spend four mil, and if you got four the, mil de- de- deposited to your bank account right now, anything, anything, I do anything. What, I'd, run, you, over, I'd a- run over my grandma with a tank. I had no problem. <laughs> no, I'm saying, what, what? No, you already have the money. What do you do? What's oh. the first thing you're doing? If it's just four if, million if you, off top. If four million dollars appeared in your bank account <laughs> right now, first thing you're doing. This is it's, it's going to be such a boring answer. We'll see. Like, what a is real it? answer? Real answer. I would call the real estate agent and be like, I want an eight unit in like probably Miami. I want an eight buy unit a- building in Miami I want to buy right now. Okay. I would and literally just, just do real live, estate. Live off that? I would act like I didn't have it. Buy a, buy a fucking eight, eight unit thing in like Miami or some other hot real estate market. Hire a management company to deal, to deal with all the You're not buying like one wild thing? <clears throat> You're spending... Every cent of that four mil on a, a complex, you're not buying one foot dussy. Another Bruh. Greta, huh? Maybe get Greta something. She don't deserve shit. <laughs> True. Oh, nah, she does. I love that lady girl. She deserves so much. Okay, what am I buying in four mil if I'm not being smart? Yeah. If I'm not being smart, what am I buying? Are sex robots here now? Yeah. You can buy somebody who can make one. I saw the porn that almost tricked me today. 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 Daddy jerked off at like 8.15 <laughs> in the goddamn morning. Coffee. You talk about coffee? Coffee. 8.15 and 8.15. 8.15. Daddy got hard. Daddy said, get it out. Were you with the lady? Eject. No, I went to my house. <clears throat> 8.15 a.m.? Went home. Wait, you drove? No, the <clears throat> roosters weren't even up yet, but the <clears throat> cock was. Oh, god damn. Blue Chew, eject the cock. <laughs> Why are we talking about, like, oh, if you had $4 million, you beat your meat at 8.15 a.m.? <laughs> dude, I... And went out into public after here's that? Here's the thing. Dude, if I jerk off in the day and walk outside, I feel like people know. They do, but that's the fun of it. What? I... 
real quick, sidebar. We'll get back to 8.15 jerking off in the morning. If you started a fucking jerk off thing in your, like a live stream jerk off thing, whatever fucking website you can use, do you think you get a hell of subscribers? Only hands. Oh. All right. Get me off the Gabe, podcast. learn Ruby, fucking write the code. <laughs> Only hands? Wait, 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 what are you talking about? You're jerking off? Yeah, like a, a jerk off cam. But like, it, it's like you. Like a GoPro. Uh, yeah. A GoPro just goes on your thumb? Uh, no, no, no. I'm saying like You ever a, seen... Okay. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> you ever seen those porns where they like... They put a camera in the guy's cock and he like fucks, and it's like it's just it's just like a POV of the vagina. It just looks like a colonoscopy. It That's doesn't look great. horrible. But like you click on it when you're younger because you're like, whoa, what's in there? A cave. <laughs> but it's not like it's not like. Does it have like, a light on it? Uh, I guess yeah. It has to. I don't know. I just remember being. I felt like it was on Magic School Bus real quick. Yeah, Magic School Bus. <laughs> they couldn't have come out with that shit now. God damn. <laughs> You gotta ask me. What? what You're in uh, my uh, lungs, bitch. Here's a better question. You're driving the magic school bus solo. Oh shit! What's the first thing you're entering? Jack it off. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, but where? Where are you entering? Where's the first crevice, hole, crease, wrinkle of who? Of a body. Of a who though? My uncle? Uh, no, the hot girl. Oh, where in the where am I driving the magic school bus? Yeah. Oh shit. I'm going in the cooler, I think. I don't, but for you? You I ain't think, flossing in and out of those toes? I don't think you want I don't think you want to see the toes up that that yeah, close. Yeah, I think up. a lot of fungi. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You ever got athletes in your mouth? Probably. You ever my tongue can shoot a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you entering? You're going. Dude, I'm I'm going in the cooter. But here's the thing. None of it does anything for me. What I don't want to if you went in the cooter. <laughs> hold up. And you just saw like a cream pie in there. Like an actual pie? What? No, you're like, oh, there's, we gotta put chains on the tires. There's snow in here. Yo, come. hold on. You think if you're a magic tool bus and you see coming there, are they like actual fish? What? You're like, god damn. You take out some fishing rods? You try to fish? I'm lost. You know the come? <laughs> <laughs> okay, backtrack. You know the come? Yeah. Aren't there fishes in there? <laughs> Is it gum fish? <laughs> Semen? Yeah. Like sperm. Like the individual sperm. Yeah, they're yeah, like, they the little yeah. tail. Right. That's what I'm saying. Too many. But if you're small, too many. if you're a small magic school bus, you're going to see. How many sperm are in per load? Quadrillion drilling cabillion. How that, big is an many. individual sperm compared to the magic school bus? I think I think a magic school, the, that's what I'm saying. I think I'm a magic school bus so. is a little bigger than a, I just think that if you were a magic school bus, you'd bring fishing rods to fish for cum. Uh, yeah, sure. You know? Yeah. And then you get the cum and you go to the end of the thing and they take a picture of it because it's really big. Yeah, at least I like hold one. my hand out the window with pineapple and be like, eat this. Oh, oh yeah. I think they're a living. Sperm? Yeah, I think you could talk to them if you're that small. Would you have a would you have a sperm on a rope? <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you went to a girl's house and she goes, Oh, I collect sperm? No. I have to bring this up. Do you remember the woman in the front row? This lady no. said that she collects teeth? Where? Columbus? Columbus. Of course, we're in Columbus. <laughs> she collecting her own. No, collect teeth. Hers. There's people's teeth. Like what dead people's them? teeth. Gamble them. I, I don't know, man. But I kept saying it. And no one cared. Like <laughs> 800 people were like silent. Hey, teeth. What happened? Not shark teeth or gator teeth. None. Of, like human teeth, and people were fine with it. It just. Had, she had it in mason jars. She Does put she it above her to kitchen the sink. I don't know, but dude, if the tooth fairy went to her house, it bagged up. Yeah, she is the tooth fairy. I think the tooth fairy is hot. You think the tooth fairy is hot? Well, the tooth fairy is also your dad. So, well, no, it wasn't because he wasn't there. <laughs> your mom? <laughs> My mom. Well, that's on brand. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Think about a tooth fairy in general creeping in, sliding it out. It doesn't All seem the... like a profitable business, though. And you're trading you... money for teeth. Yeah, but you're selling baby teeth. There might be a market. Listen, if there's if there's a market for for pussy, there's a market for baby teeth. There's a market for everything. You you're you're trying to tell me right now that the first person that killed an alligator and skinned that bitch was like, oh, this we can make purses out of this. No, it just happened. I'm saying there's a market for everything. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? Magic school bus. If you're in it, <clears throat> what are you doing first? Where are you going first? If you become magic school bus, boom, you going into the girl where? You know where I'm going? Can I can I re redo my answer? Yeah. This is where I'm going. I'm not gonna go in her. 
I'm going to read her journal. I'm doing scandalous shit. But those words are massive. I can read them. I In zoom a bus? Out. I zoom out like a Goodyear blimp. I just look down. Wait, wait, you're going to be able to turn a page? No. it be heavy as hell. He's looking at us as chapter one. You're like, fuck. Fuck. Hold up. Your girl got a journal? She does. Oh, shit. How much you painted to read that? I don't think she uses it. Oh. I think it just sits next to her bed. So, you know, she doesn't write in it? I don't know. Damn. You ever have a journal in as a kid? Uh, I did. Really? Dude, uh -oh. that's a great memory. I remember writing and taking my stress out. I remember writing the kids I'd want to fight in school. <laughs> But here's Call the thing. Him out. If you're Garrett, but if you're here's Fuck the thing. Fuck that guy. If you're <laughs> journaling about fighting somebody, you're gonna lose. Yeah. Or the pen is mightier than the sword, sir. The yeah, pen but, but, is but, mightier like, than I the think sword. I just remember going home one day and, and was mad at some kid. I was like, Garrett was a jerk. Garrett made me feel some type of way. I want to fight Garrett. Fuck him. Is Garrett a real person? Yeah. Oh, fuck you, Garrett. Do you think you could tell if you were mad by how deep the indentations were on the yeah. words that you used? Yeah. If you yeah. had the deep shit, you were angry. If you were like, <laughs> you were like, oh, I'm in love with a girl. I remember they told me growing up that you were supposed to hold a pencil. like, Because like, I guess I gripped it super hard. Mm -hmm. They're like, you're supposed to hold it like the same as like a tooth. Tube of toothpaste. Like if you held it tighter than if any came out. Oh, I hold my shit tight. How you write? I write like this. Let me see. Like this. Oh, I thought you went like this for a second. No, no. Like people hands. who write like that, like a 31-year-old, oh, like writing like Bob. that. You can't be writing like this, full fist. You are a full fist guy over 25. You're writing a manifesto. Are you ambidextrous? No. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm close to ambidextrous like with a basketball, but everything else, no. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. What, did anyone give a shit about the kid who was ambidextrous in middle school? Dude, they told my, my teacher, actually my principal, when she was a kid, which was like when dinosaurs were alive, she was she was old then. God damn. But she was left-handed. And back in the day, they said, fuck left-hand people. They just made her right right-handed. They just, you literally like. Yeah, left-handed was a hoax back then. Dude, but that's crazy. Which? Crazy. You're just like, I can write my left. And they go, no, you can't. Switch it up. Which? Which. Can you imagine being a left-hand? Like, you're smearing all the shit. My mom's a lefty. Shit? I'm a lefty too, yeah. You're a lefty? Gabe's yeah. a lefty? Did you smear the rest of your whole shit? Yeah, all the time. Still do. Damn, but there's like left hand notebooks though, right? Yeah, Did but like you, when you're trying to write like a greeting card, like a nice card for someone, it, it always gets fucked up. Cards in general. Yeah. Dude, I bought a card from my girl for, what was it, Valentine's Day? Oh, shit. Dog, you want to guess how much this goddamn card was? $7.99. Bitch, I wish. Really? $13. You know what's funny is they know they can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's also so many cards to choose from. You're like, ha. Well, the best ones, the ones that look the nicest, obviously, the very obvious thing I'm about to say, are the ones that are bags. It's pick, picks of whatever the fuck. Well, because it's like layered and shit and it has like flowers. It was actually nice, dude. There was puzzle pieces that made a heart and there was one puzzle piece that was empty and the puzzle piece was on the side to the left. And I was like, ooh, that's me. I complete your heart. Bitch, did I get pussy that night? <laughs> <laughs> At home? You got a card. Card. Can you imagine... If you did all that, wrote a nice card. Dude, I told my girl I love her yesterday. She said, thank you. I said, huh? Ooh. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hunt, hunt, take a hike! Hey! She said, thank you? Thank you! Let me hear she it. She said, thank you, honey. I said, huh? Text her verbally. No, no, verbally. Last night. I said, thank you, honey. She, just said, I, she goes, I said, honey? I said, you take your honey and put it on... Cheerios, bitch. I want your wait, honey. Wait, wait. So what happened? You were like, I love you. And she's like, thank you, honey. Yeah, she's thank you, honey. No. Damn. No. Simp. Yeah. No. Simp. I, no. Michael. It wasn't he a gave simp. Her, he handed her 10 bucks afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take your virginity. <laughs> she said, thank you? She said, thank you, honey. She said, thank you, honey. I started packing my bag. And what, <laughs> what, did, she, how, what did she say after that? Uh, she was like, she was joking, but like. After like two minutes, I was like, no, no, uh, funny. Say it. So funny. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> say, it. say it. Say it. Say it. Say I know it. I've been gone for five days. Say it. <laughs> say it. Man. Dude, the first guy to say, say it, don't spray it. When somebody spit when they talk, heater. Oh my God. You ever heard that? Yeah. Say it, don't spray it. Dude. They and the word 
Spray? Got some yeah. hard syllables, so you'll spray a little on that. Dude, lisps? So hard. Why, why are you making a person with a lisp say lisp? Switch it up. Yeah, I would just abbreviate it, or I'd just use my hands like L. Yeah. L is... What was the shit that girls used to do growing up? Loser, <clears throat> loser, <clears throat> double loser. <laughs> yeah. Get the picture. Bitch. Take the... Somebody, take, bitch. Loser, loser, double loser. Take a photo. I don't know. I don't know either. Loser, loser. Dude, there were so many bangers that they had growing up. Like, take As a picture that'll last longer. Ooh, that was wow. It was a loser, loser, double loser. As if whatever, get the picture done. All right, well, loser, Whoa. loser, double, double loser, loser. Get the picture, picture. As what? As here, you want to watch a video of it? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's gonna be some twelve-year-old girl doing this with a hundred million views. Oh my oh, god! It's a, yeah, it's a has one hundred twenty k. She's doing it with sass too. Look at this. As if whatever, get the picture done. Huh? What type of accent? I'm gonna send that to my girlfriend next time she acts up. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do with my girlfriend? I'm going to say, thank you, honey. Loser, loser, double, double loser. loser. Get the picture. Oh, should we do this now? The what? bras? We oh, yeah. Speaking of this. girls. Yeah. Last episode, we were talking about how <clears throat> quick we could take an old bra off. Hey, your boy stole some bras from his girlfriend. <laughs> Yo, let me ask you I a question. I hope she doesn't watch this episode because I got your bras, honey. Does she not know that you took them? I mentioned it, but uh, I don't know. Let me ask you a question. Are these clean? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, yeah. All right. And I sprayed them down with Windex this morning. Good. 409. So how should we do this? I put it on, you try to take it off, vice versa? <clears throat> Can I try to put it on you first? Yeah. You ever try to put it on a bra? Dude, she showed me how to put it on. It's a hoax. You got to put it around like it's a utility belt around your waist. You turn it up, then you flip it around inside. Yeah. Too much. Girls got too much stuff. Girls are like <laughs> Mrs. Potato Heads. There's too much shit attached to y'all. You got to do bras and panties. You got vaginas flapping, vulvas, fucking birth canals. You got fucking fake eyelashes, nails done, hair done, everything good. God this is damn, a Drake bitch. song. <laughs> nails done, hair done, everything. Too much. Bro, you ever go into Victoria's Secret as like a kid? Get hard? <laughs> and then say I'm buying this for my mom and just scum me. <laughs> like, sir, you got to leave. It's three in the morning. Dude, I'm looking it, for my mom. Isn't it funny that girls like, nail done, hair done, everything good, and then they just walk in the date, and then we just go, "Can I come?" Like it's, it's like it's. I feel bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's I so shaved my effort. face this morning with a razor that had one blade on it. <laughs> that was my prep to get ready. Yeah. And she's spending an hour and a half to look pretty, and I'm like, yeah, I, I put something in my hair. Yeah, and then she goes, "Honey and come." Yep. She goes, how does my hair look? Honey go, nut Cheerios. I know. Whoa. Yeah. Honey nut, nut on my Cheerios. Cheerios. Now, how is that not a porn title? Honey nut on my Cheerios. Well, come on. There's milk with my Come into puffs. America? <laughs> I mean, Jesus. What was the, the Black Eyed Peas song, Put Your Milk with My Cocoa Puffs? Was that about sex? I don't know, but there's a Black Eyed Peas song that Gabe brought up before. That milk in my Cocoa Puffs. That is puffs. so illegal milky, to say. Milky Cocoa Puffs. Please Please be about sex. Milky, milky cocoa puffs? Put your milk with my cocoa puffs. Milky, milky cocoa puffs. Oh my God. You don't remember this? Either that's a heater of a jingle or that's about coming on some goddamn coconuts. Oh, is that coming on tits? You you fuck with coming on tits? Uh, yeah. I'm, I, I just like coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really care where I come. I'll come in a saxophone. I don't really give a shit. Is that crazy? Anyway, uh, but there are places that are what more is fun. It? What? There are there are places that are more fun. Sure. Yeah, I agree. yeah. Like on her dad. What? Hold on. What did you say Who's before dad? I said that? <laughs> I didn't say anything. God damn. Who's oh, this dad? is in my humps. This is definitely about sex. My yeah, humps. my lady lumps. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah well, yeah, that's yeah. weird. Come grope my lady lumps. Is it grope? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, we girls like come check out these lady lumps. I'd be like, what am I looking for? Leukemia. The <laughs> Dude, the first time, I don't think that's how you find it. The first time, hold up. <laughs> what was I going to say? You know all these words that are like grope, feel, creepy, like those words? Who were the person that invented those words? Do you think those were the people? I want to be a creep. Let me grope you. Like, how did those words come about? I'm an anthropologist. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Etym etymology? Et et etymology, yeah. I'm a fucking genius sort of kind of. Let me take your tits out. Put the bra on. Put it on? <clears throat> Hold on. Let me pick which one I want you in. <laughs> oh, wow. Go ahead, sir. Oh, fuck. 
I'm eight percent hard. I I want you in that one. The cheetah one. Yeah, you little fucking cheetah. Yeah, something Run. about a cheetah bra. Like if if y'all hooking up, yeah. she got a cheetah bra. On. No condom. <laughs> Dude, if you take the bra and there's Cheetah, she's from New Jersey or you're not wearing a condom. See, wait, should I take my shirt off? How does this work? See, I'm Let's, not doing this right. For the people listening at home, Trevor's going to put on a bra and I'm going to see how fast I can take it off. And then I'm going to try to take a bra off you. Okay. With the, with the lights off. Whoa. What? Can you kiss me first? Take me out to dinner. God damn. You know those, you know those girls that would, that would put uh, toilet paper in their bra? Yeah. yeah. And you take off the bra, and that shit would fall out, and she'd be like, oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm like, bitch, I'm hard. I don't give a good <laughs> I'm going to use that to get my cum off later. God damn. This is hard. I am hard. Wait. How does I this... don't think you're doing it right. I started doing it today. I also have the body of a wheelbarrow. So... <laughs> <laughs> Wheelbarrows? Well, I saw her doing this this morning. Whoa, me too. God. Okay. What's happening? Motherfuckers were named. It looks like you're putting on the bra. It looks like you're putting on a... Steven Austin's bra. What's that guy's name? Go up. Dude, you're going to break it, bro. I think oh, you need to make shit. it bigger. Bigger? Hold up. This is all the way. That's all the way? This is all the way. All right. I got this. And then you spin it around. Trevor's girlfriend, if we break the bra, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, you got it on. Yeah, boy. Come on. Oh, shit. Trev, I'd Come beat. <laughs> <laughs> all I had to do is put a bra on. I mean, real talk. I'd be. It looks like you put it on Steve Austin. And then you got always you got to do the the cup movement where you tuck the titty in. If yeah, can bring it all up. I like when they take out a cell phone. <laughs> What's your plan? Oh, I've never done Tid that. Mobile? <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that. This shit don't fit. Take a picture. I of got that a body longer. cam. All right, let me see. Oh, who's calling? Pit. No. All right. All right. So do I just turn towards you? I think I want to. I think I want to oh. go. God, go all for right, it. All right. all right, how are we doing this? Gabe, man the cameras. God damn. Uh, real quick, uh, can I get a round of applause, everyone? Yeah. Yay! Today, You gave I'm... away Greta. I did. She, oh. uh, well, she died, and I just kind of threw in the garbage. Better help. That... That... <laughs> Today, I'm excited to announce Manscaped's launched their ultra premium collection. Believe it or not, it's for your not-so-private parts. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I'm talking about a level-up hygiene routine with your favorite manly scent. This Bit. is an all-in-one skin and hair care for the everyday man and covers you from head, head, to toe. toe. Literally. <laughs> wow, that worked out. Really Manscaped good. trademarks is... Why did they put the trademark in there? <laughs> it's, it's trusted below the waist. Cock. Not trusted. Not, not dude. Keep it in. <laughs> Keep it in. It's now, trusted below the waist. Now trust them with the rest. They could have done a better job. Right? Yeah. Join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped TM by going to Manscaped, no TM, <laughs> manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with promo code STIFF, all capitals. Let me tell you a secret. Can I tell you a secret real quick? Y yes. I'm going to tell you a secret. Please do. They sent us this stuff, okay? Yeah. The body wash is honestly phenomenal. Oh, yeah. The shampoo plus conditioner. Two in one. Makes my hair luxurious, okay? I, I, th I like, you know, all these, they, some people send us products and like, eh, this is trash, blah, blah, blah. It's not. It no, is for great. real, the real deal. It, the packages are incredible. I'm a huge proponent of this. That's what I'm saying is like, you can get everything covered with Manscaped. You can get your grooming and you can also smell great. And it's the boxers. Yeah. I, I wear their boxers a lot. Pretty much everything they send me, I've ever, uh, Everything they've ever sent me, I've used at some point. Dude, they have like ball wipes. If you're having a long, sweaty day, yeah. you can fucking, you know, yeah. give her the old nut sack. Or you're a, a fucking room. construction worker. You're busy making a fucking birdhouse. You come home, your girl's like, hey, I want some cock. And you go, okay, let me wipe my balls first. Manscaped TM. What's in the collection, dude? It's the Manscaped body wash, the two-in-one shampoo, conditioner, the hydrating body, moisturizer, Manscaped deodorant, and Manscaped lip balm, okay? If you want to kiss your partner right, you just with the Manscaped lip balm. Okay, get 20% off plus free shipping and use code STIFF at manscaped.com. 20% off plus free shipping with code STIFF at manscaped.com. The power of attraction is now in the bottle, thanks to Manscaped. Goddamn. Get your cock out. Get your sock out. Blue Chew Baby. Dude, why doesn't Blueface just change his name to... 
Blue Chew, baby. Well, you probably he can't should. say those words together. Anyways, guys, it's Blue <laughs> Chew. And what is Blue Chew? They've been a longtime supporter of the show. Yeah. And let me just, in case you're new here, you know? It's a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day, night, afternoon. So, you know, you know, you can plan ahead easily or you don't be ready. Time it. Yeah. If you, know, you want to get your con card, you don't got to time it. Yeah. Or you don't got to take your eye calendar out and figure out when you're going to pop the pill. The no. process is simple. You it sign is. up at bluechew.com. Consult with one of the licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your then subscription within days. The best part, what? it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA. Yes, and prepared America. prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package for your package. Penis. Penis. It gets your, it get, I'll, what is it? It gets your cock rock hard, okay? Whoa. Yeah. You cock take rock. it, you chew it. And you get rock hard, all right? Hard like marble, hard like titanium. We all want a freaking adamantium cock, okay? And this is what Blue Chew brings you. Discreet packages. You don't got to wait in the fucking line at CVS. Like, hey, I want a hard cock. We all know what we want, and we can get it hard at cock. Blue Chew, okay? And a lot of youngsters are like, oh, man, I can get hard, blah, blah, blah. Second round. How about that? How about the second round, all right? Yeah, what's your return? What is that? What's your zero to 60? What is it? Four what seconds. is it? Huh? Four seconds. Four seconds. Mine's yeah. three seconds. You know why? Because I eat a blue chew. Whoa. Yeah, dude. While taking AG1. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you could benefit from the extra cock confidence, now, it says confidence? Oh, sorry. I can't read. Okay, I can't either. Uh, when it's time to perform, BlueChew.com can help. So, we got a special deal for our listeners. Try BlueChew for free when you use promo code SOCKS at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That is BlueChew.com, promo code SOCKS, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring this podcast god damn oh hold on hold on what are the rules here wait can i kiss as you as can as i kiss you or no uh <laughs> where are we <laughs> is it one hand or two do you whatever you think is faster yeah, oh no, yeah you're just trying to see how fast you one's can. more seductive one yeah, is but, more but two is is that's gonna that be, yankee shit right there two's gonna be easy uh, fine i guess right. it's not very romantic to fucking give somebody a bear hug i've never come here so I, so you're saying you can do whatever you want. All right, cool. You can do whatever you want. I'm definitely going two hands. I'm going to fucking. But the second you touch the bra, that's when the clock starts and my cock starts. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm ready. All right. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, you ready? What? Who? Me? Yeah, you. Oh, n I kinda sure. Wanna, I kind of want to take it to the next level, Trevorita. How do you know my government name? I saw your birth certificate. What about my birth canals? I want to see that too. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to see the Mississippi rhythm. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. Trevorita. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stand. All right. I'm just gonna hang out. All right, Trevorita. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, you went for the double maneuver. <laughs> yeah, dude. I... The double. Dude, this is taking too long. I'm is getting it... soft. I'm oh getting... yeah. Dude, this is taking too long. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Watch that. Oh. Let me see your tits, man. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Seven seconds. <clears throat> that was pretty good. I was, you got a vine off real quick. Yeah, that was pretty good. Throw this on, you meandering whore. <laughs> meandering. <laughs> what does that mean? It means a, a loose whore. Well, I, I'm gonna be honest, dude. I've put on like lingerie before. <laughs> <laughs> We're not just gonna breeze over that. <laughs> I look hot as fuck, dog. It fits your outfit, honestly. I look hot as shit. Oh, I gotta do the reverse. What like do you mean? How you do? Bras are expensive as hell, yeah. That's why girls. That's why girls say. That's why you pay for dinner, daddy. Cause all my shit's expensive. I did my hair. I did my nails. My cooter. I did all my shit. My fucking lingerie is two hundred dollars a piece. So that's why you pay for dinner. And I understand that. I pay four million dollars for a brand new cooter. That is funny that we spent all this money on used scooter. <laughs> <laughs> refurbished. It's no, how is it refurbished? It's used. I. This bitch has a car wash and they <laughs> refurbished. <laughs> I just didn't do the challenge. I love Michael on with that all day. I'm fine with it. All That's right, should I get one hand? Shit. I might try the one hand. Damn, it kind of smells like a The time girl. to beat is seven seconds. <laughs> 
in the lights. All right. All right. We want to get sexual. Let me put right. on some. I'm going to be honest, though. Trev, I'm, I've am i admitted on this podcast many times that I'm not good at taking off a bra. And you have come back to the equation saying that you're actually skilled. You actually are a one hand band guy. You know those guys that have a one band, one band hand, they have like 16 instruments? Get friends. <laughs> demonetized. Yeah, we can't. Oh, uh, cool. Dude, you'll get demonetized. We'll get demonetized. I was going to dance on it. You don't think we'll get demonetized? No. All this right. is what YouTube flourishes on. <clears throat> All right. All right, Gabe, ready? Where, where do I go? All right, you got to at least I talk to me a little bit before you do this. Hey, what's your name? Michelle. Next. <laughs> uh, what brings you to this Dave & Buster's, Michelle? I work here. Yeah. What time are you off? Whenever you get off. Oh, I'm good at getting off. So why don't you come back? Meet me in the behind the pizza parlor. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Something funny about pizza parlors to you? Nothing. Because I'm trying to see some pepperonis, if you know what I'm saying. My tits? Uh, areolas. All right. Why don't you come get these areolas, daddy? Okay. You, uh, can you lean forward, Michelle? Oh, I got to lean forward for you? Uh, respectfully, okay. hopefully. I'm nervous. What if I nut? All right. <sighs> Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Go ahead. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Gabe, you ready? Ready. Gabe, ready. Audience, ready? Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we just lost our deposit. Dude, that was so good. Dude, if... if that was nuts. If I had that precision the other night with the lady, I, I would have been... I, I would have been Fabio. That was... Dude, do you practice that? That was like, that there's was crazy. A, there's a certain pressure point. I honestly got lucky. That was- There's a certain, it's, it's like, if, if, the, if the pressure is tight on the back- Can you teach me how to do that? If the pressure is tight on the back when the hooks are in, <clears throat> and you kind of just pop it up and out, that it's was, like the thumb kind of pushes it out. Okay, so if it's like this, if we're the two prong, hit me off a little demonstration. Okay. Oh shit, two prong demonstration. So, all right, so it's all tight, boom. If you, all you need to do is, is get, Oh, so it's like you... Okay, go. Right, right, hold on. Hold on like this. Hold like that. Okay. So, to, all the, to all the young all guys, doing, you gotta watch this. All you're doing is you're trying to get... the fuck did I even do? You're trying to use these two. Yeah. And you're, you're pushing the thumb. Ain't nobody... What the hell? I think I was just horny with beginner's law. <laughs> but essentially, you're just... You're, you're connecting the two right here... And, where you're, you're pushing the oh, two against, yeah, and then you're yeah, just yeah, using... Yeah. All you need to do is just hold the two. Then you're, you're just pushing it out of the socket. Oh, my God. That was so good. Did your dad teach you that? Or did uh, you just... My sister. For real? <laughs> oh, that would have been sick. I don't remember you how I learned. I think my, my buddy CJ was like... He, he showed me everything. So it's just on. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, so you, it's just... You, 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 you have the two, and then you either use your thumb so, oh. or the uh, the upper so finger. So you go... You kind of like scissor it yeah, with these two. The two, and then you just... And then you... Oh, yeah, I got yeah, it! Yeah, they pop right out. All right. Look, youngins that don't know, I just learned right now. Fingers like this, and then you take your thumb and sort of snap. Whoa! I'm That's say, good. If you, if you can pull off the, the one-hander... <clears throat> Whoa. That was like, I think if when I did that, like when I was in high school, if you did that, the girl was like, that, that's the equivalent of having like a good credit score as an adult. Like you would do that. And she'd be like, God damn. You know, that's, that's, uh, that would be impressive. That, you ever have a girl struggle to like take your belt off? I had an, oh dude, this, the belt that I have right now, yeah. I've had this belt for like five years. Dude, I had the same one in college. It's a, it's a struggle belt. It has. They can't do it. It has like, like, le like little clickities mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. And it is funny because in the head, you know mm -hmm. that it's not going to come off with ease. It won't. But you're like, how long before I'd be like, God, let me just. Yeah. Or sometimes girls have sh some shit where it's like the, the jeans have like 12 buttons on it. And she'll yeah. be like, let me just help you. Then <laughs> rips it wide open. I just go take off your clothes. I make everything seem like, ooh, dominance. Uh, but in, in, in reality. You just want ease. I easy. just don't know what's happening. Yeah. Smart. This fucking Rubik's Cube of goddamn buttons Maybe that's everywhere. how the whole dom shit started. Yeah. Guy was like, undo your shoes. And she's like, okay. You just didn't know how to untie shoes. Yo, 
what are those? What do those women wear? Uh, corsets? Uh, yeah. yeah. Can you imagine those taking got off a prongs corset? for days. You gotta call in the servant to help. Too many. There's like 19, 20 things. Also, they used to walk. Even put on a corset. I haven't, but it looks pretty tight. You haven't? I haven't. Those are the ones that you wear to fit in things that are. Yeah. They do, yeah, they make your waist look super. Small. You ever seen those women with uh, with uh, waist trainers on at the gym? Yeah. Yeah, those like the the black things that like tra- do they really work? My ex used to wear one. I guess I don't know. She used to like wear one all the time. It literally looked. You ever just wear like a, a trash bag when you work out to like sweat a bunch? I've never worn a trash bag, but I have. I wear like extra layers to like sweat. I like to sweat a lot. I feel like right. I'm like working out. Right. I'll right. wear. You know those like you, you know those like black Uniqlo jackets I wear. Yeah. Yeah, I have one just for working out. It's fucked up because I just wear it to work out. Oh, really? But I get hot. How, do you feel like when you go to take off that jacket at the gym after you've been sweating? Or do you feel like you let everyone know like, oh shit. The muscles is coming out to play. Bark, bark. Yeah, there is I, 100%. There's something about, it is nice to work out with a hoodie on for a little bit because then yep. you, you puff up and then yep. you take it off and you're like, oh. oh, this is what I'm coming out at. Bro, I go to the gym. I'll do like bike for like 30 whatever or run. Uh, I pick and I get real hot and I'll do like maybe 15 minutes of weights where I feel I got a full pump and then it comes off. And then in my head, everyone at the gym's like, Oh fuck! Yeah. No one's looking. People are dropping the forty fives just to look. Yeah, I do. You, what's always nice is like when you're really sweaty after workout, and you walk outside of the gym. That fresh oh. air, the air hits the sweat <gasps> body, and you're like, "This is what my body feels like to not." Uh, <laughs> you know the best feeling ever is is when you go to the. I always mix it up. Is it sauna? What sauna? The, sauna then leaving yeah. is nice too. Oh my goodness gracious! There's always the weirdest conversations going on in the sauna. At a, at a, well, I go to LA Fitness. I, I got to step it up. Everybody and the, the most random encounters happen in the sauna. Mm-hmm. There's two people fully conversing had to take over uh, the country, and then there's a guy just freestyling in the corner, and then there's a guy who's just passed out. Yeah, there's a guy <laughs> doing anybody can yoga awaken? in the corner. Guy's yeah. cooking chicken on the fucking <laughs> yeah. on the thing. Or there's the guy who adds water. Yeah, to the th- that's illegal. Well, it's electric. Well, you can't, well, you can't do it's that. It's electric. Yeah, sir, you don't know what's happening. Yeah, there's always something going on. Yeah, it can't be just a calm evening. No, you get you get anybody in a small in in enclosement. Shit's weird. Elevators. Everyone don't talk. <laughs> yeah. Just ding ding. Elevator music not loud enough. Oh my take god. Take them. Take the music from Forever Twenty One. Put it in the elevator. Is Forever Twenty One still a thing? I I don't know. It is, but is it still around? Like I don't. I think I, they had to close a bunch of locations. Also, I think they still yeah. have some of them. Yeah. Who buys Abercrombie clothes besides the entire country of Europe? Continent. Europe. Continent. Europe. Does anyone in America buy Abercrombie? I don't know. Probably still. I mean, God, I used to be so jealous of those hot ass dudes there on the front. I was like, I want that. I want to do that. Or was it Hollister? The front of their store had like sh- shirtless guys. Well, yeah, well, that, that. But like, no, they like had their own like storefront that like looked like a house, yep. like a hut. Yep, yep. And it had yep. was it the brick shing- shillings shingles? Yeah, yeah. It had like the overhang. Yeah. Well, Hollister was always the place where like. If you were in high school and you were a girl that got hired at Hollister, that was how everyone knew you were one of the hot girls because it was yep. like you were yep. you were like a retail associate. But they also mm-hmm. called you a model. So oh you yeah, were like but yeah. you got hired at True Religion. Yeah, damn, give it six years and you're a Bilzerian girl, dude. I literally there was one dude that was in my high school that got hired to be out front of Abercrombie, like a hot dude. I'm surprised you didn't try to work there. I did. Oh no. Oh yeah, daddy. Where'd you end up working? <clears throat> I got hired in New York. To be like to to work at the fucking thing, and honestly, bro, I want to continue this story, but I don't remember why I didn't work there. I don't think I, dude. I told you guys, it took me like almost a year to get a fucking job in New York. I got hired at no place. Red, when Red Lobster says no to you, yeah. your life is in shambles. Did you go out mad, but man, fuck the biscuits. Um, yeah, I was I was literally upset. Yeah, I'll back too. Red Lobster, no, I was like, dude. Dude, I have a college degree. I've worked at fucking restaurants my whole life. Well, that's the problem. You got a college degree. That's like, true. We don't need this. No, I got to go in there with a fucking heroin addiction. <laughs> like, I like Oxycontin. They're like, oh, you should be a chef. What the hell is wrong with these chefs? You're just making noodles. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? Just, every documentary I watch, I'm like, goddamn chefs. They're always yelling at people. It looks stressful You're making back there. chef boy or D. Uh, certain places, it looks stressful. It looks stressful, but the chef is what's making it stressful. Who gives a shit? Oh, the soul goes on the plate. You're making fucking lasagna. I hate it. 
It's food. It's not life. Fucking, you're making meatballs for people that live in fucking Vermont. Who cares? Nothing wrong with Vermont, but you know what I mean. Just take a break. You know the chef's all tattooed up? Off a heroin bender? Just yelling at fucking line cooks? This guy's like, dude. What is a line cook? I, I, the is somebody people, down the line? Yeah, right. It's like the head chef. And the head chef, there's like, in these restaurants I used to work at, there was like separate kitchens. Right. And then so the, this one dude was like the fucking meat guy. And then the, the, the it was called the sous chef. Like the yeah, head chef. Yeah, it's big. And he would just Sous fucking chef. yell at people. It was his job. He would like taste a piece of chicken and be like, you call that chicken? Oh, really? Yeah, dude, it was a whole thing. I remember when I was a kid, I thought the perfect job growing up would be the ice cream taster. Like sampler. The guy who samples flavors for like Baskin Robbins. Oh, that I was is... like, that, that's the dream job. But after like two weeks, you're like, I am shitting Jamba yeah, Juice smoothies. I have diabetes. <laughs> My left leg is gone. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a uh, fucking hilarious job is there's like people within the mcdonald's corporation that are consistently trying to make new mcdonald's food it's, yeah they just came out with done. one the land c and air burger but that's not a new that's one that's just much. taking I saw a picture well, but that. that's not they're just taking from what people have been making well the real one that they've been making that they need to make is the mcgangbang and that's a mcchicken and a big mac i think but uh -huh. They, they're, they, I don't know if they, well, they can't legally put Mick Gangbang out there. Uh -uh. Just Mick Gangbang with Ronald McDonald. I'm like, it'll bang your cock. Bangkok. That's a capital. Bangkok. The first guy did to do you, that. Did you ever do that in high school? Oh, yeah. That was awful. What's the capital of Thailand? You're like, well, a bang Oh, dude. But once you knew. Yeah. What if the teacher asked you in front of the class, what's the capital of Thailand? You're Puncher. Like, I'm not. <laughs> You get ahead of the curve. Yeah, Lancey and Eric, which is funny because it's chicken, beef, and fish. Those three animals don't know that they exist. No. That a fish has never seen a cow. A chicken's never seen a fish. So it's a double double meat patties, a fish patty, and a chicken patty. Three three breads. What in the fuck? That looks like somebody's like meal on death row. Yeah. yeah you or ever, somebody's really off the weed. You ever realize when a country has too much freedom? This is what's wrong with America. Well, you they, give a country too much freedom, that's what happens. Yeah. What the hell is that? You should be able to. You should uh, go to jail. What, what was their pitch meeting that Monday? They're like, oh, fuck it. I don't know. I actually, I think the story with the Lancey and Airburger is this is just like a thing that like, like some dude came up with. Like, oh, this is the shit. And then now McDonald's is doing like, hey, you can customize your orders on our app. Someone makes Lancey and Airburger. Oh, like, I think I they understand. pushed it that way. Uh, you know what I think is so funny about this stuff is when they're like, oh, Travis Scott meal. It's like, mother he's like, money. Oh, tra Travis Scott orders a fucking uh, burger. Little Huddy had a Burger King. <laughs> Little Huddy. Dude, can we talk about Chick-fil-A? They have gluten-free buns. Oh, yeah. I think they always had those. I don't I never saw it on the menu. I had it. We had it in uh, Columbus. Where the hell were we? Columbus? No, that was that we were in Michigan. No. Hold on. Because we walked You're there. right. It's Columbus. We did. It was Columbus. How was it? In an odd turn of events, they didn't give it. it maybe it's a cross-contamination <laughs> thing, but they give you the bun in a Ziploc bag. Or not a Ziploc, but like a... Like a vacuum-sealed bag. Yeah, like a bag, a separate okay. bag. And then they give you the chicken breast and a piece of lettuce just in a cup. It's so, very weird. Uh, so they don't assemble it for you. Right. Yeah. I, I don't know. Just it's, make it. Right. But yeah. maybe it's a cross-contamination yeah. thing. I mean, that's actually kind of a nice thought of them. No. It <laughs> is, but it's weird because then you got to see you, you got to see just the chicken breast. And you're yeah. like, I don't want to... You also got to make it. I don't fucking work here. <laughs> But I'm thinking, like, if you're on the road, how do you how are you expected to be driving while doing all that? You crash. Yeah, I mean, it it was a great alternative because usually I had to just get the chicken cubes there, which is so sad. The chicken cubes aren't bad. Yeah, they're not great. They no, come in a steamy great. little cup. Yeah, then you put them in some. They look like we give a four year old to shut up on a Delta flight. More of the story, they have it, which is great now. So, so if you guys have gluten free people, yeah, I, I had it and it was solid. I went through like four packets of Chick fil A sauce. You know who has uses the most sauce ever? Your video guy. John? Oh my God. It is like you ever run into those people that like every nugget, it's one packet? Yeah. That's why when you go, hey, can I have Chick fil A sauce? They hand you 100 of them. And you're like, well, McDonald's one is like, fine. We're, we're, we're over your shenanigans. We're going to charge you 25 cents per. When they started that, oh, dude, the I lady. Mean, <laughs> how in the fuck did they like. You know how like they rided the Capitol then? How did they not ride the Capitol when McDonald's started? Well, the people that sauce? are eating McDonald's, I'll tell you what. What they ain't rioting. 
Yeah, they're because tweeting. They are, uh-huh. They're tweeting. <clears throat> yep. But they ain't going to be all right. I love the McDonald's. Favorite fast food? Go. Dude, I, forget. We, I just had McDonald's in the airport. When? Uh, you were in San Jose. Uh, this was the flight going to the Phoenix airport. We had a connected flight there. And it was either that or some random whole, whole, I don't know what it was. But I got a Big Mac with no bun. Oh, hot. And it, well, it's just a sad meal. It, it doesn't came sound same, bad. It, no, it's good. I had that with fries and I was very content. It was great. Big Macs are fucking phenomenal. They're phenomenal. You know what you should do? And maybe you have done this. You should like get whatever uh, burger you want and just ask them to put it on like a bed of lettuce. Yeah, that's what I do. Oh. That's what it was. Oh. Like a bed of lettuce, not like a lettuce wrap. Like a, uh, like a, like a no, Big Mac what, salad. That's what McDonald's did. And then you just kind of oh. chop it up a little oh, bit. Oh, that sounds it. great. Yeah, it's fine. I had those some fries. Did you put fries in there? No. Nah. Who, That's crazy. How, how do you feel about the people that dip fries in Coke? People dip fries in Coke. That's a thing? Oh, that's a thing, Dad. Dip fries in Coke? Dip fries in Coke. Fries in fries. a Frosty I'm great with. Fries in a Coke? Yuck. Peep, Yuck a do. You ever see, you, you're not down with the Frosty? No, it's I've so good. I've never had it. It looks awful. It's so good. No, it's really? great. I do it because in Because you get yeah. sweet and salty. It's really good. You know what I don't get? I saw this on TikTok. People are putting peanuts in their Diet Coke or Coke, and then they drink it, and then they eat the peanuts at the end. What the hell? You can Google it. It's, Too much freedom. Here. Too much freedom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but that's what it is. I, I no. love how every fast food place has their thing, you know? <laughs> Wendy's is like square patty, and everyone's like, ah, fuck, that's... That's good. That's Wendy's. That's good. What would yours be if you had a fast food place? What would be your thing? <sighs> if I had a fast food place, what yeah. my thing would be is you can have a quesadilla with anything. Okay. Cookout does that. In North Carolina, they don't give a fuck. Oh, really? You you want to talk about we don't give a fuck and freedom? <laughs> Bro, on a side, you can get a chicken wrap as your side. And the chicken wrap, I'll tell you what it is. It's a chicken nugget, heavily breaded. That's enough from downstairs. <laughs> heavily breaded. And they roll it in a tortilla with a strip of uh, lettuce, which is, <laughs> you know, a lot. Uh-huh. But, and then they just put ranch on it and roll it up. It looks like a high meal. It, that, 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 that can great. be your side. No, it's good. But that can be your side. Do you remember when McDonald's had uh, like wraps, like McWraps and shit? Yeah. Those were so this, good. Dude, the salad shaker cups, those. Whoever was the first person to take that and shake it, you know when you get a salad to go? And oh, you the shake The first it? person to put the dressing on there and just shake the whole thing, genius. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, I mean, it's that's why the shaker method was so, they were ahead of the curve. Oh my God, no. You remember the McDonald's shaker? Yes, I made a TikTok, dude. it's still my drafts. I haven't posted it, maybe I'll post it, but it's just me just yelling about why don't we bring that back? Because I, I don't, like, I don't remember ever eating one, but I remember having one. And they gave you way too much dressing, but I love a fuck ton of dressing. I don't, a fuck ton of dressing kills it for me. I need like a medium, I would rather them under. Dude. I, as a kid, my salad bowl at the end would look like a soup. Yeah. Not good. Where are you at salad dressing? Are you a thousand dollar guy, ranch guy, blue cheese guy? I'm about to fuck you up. Caesar. Are you serious? No, no, no. Caesar's not, Caesar's, I'm, no, no, I have nothing against Caesar. I'm just saying that's wild to say it's your favorite dressing. That's not wild. It's the best, it's the, favorite it's the best dressing. dressing. It's the best dressing. If you had there. to pick one sauce for the rest of your life. Barbecue. It's barbecue sauce bad. is fucking It's not great. bad. Barbecue sauce? Barbecue sauce? Barbecue sauce? Barbecue sauce is fucking amazing. It does. Barbecue sauce is incredible. It does. It, it's, it's very, very universal. But you barbecue can't- sauce is like ketchup, but if it, if it lets you drink at an early age. You know, like that cool yeah. uncle who's like, yo, fucking, yeah. you boys want some Michelobes? That's yeah. barbecue sauce right there. Barbecue there. sauce is ketchup if it went to prison. No, like, but, it's it like, was, but it's like it's like cool tangy. It's not like sketchy tangy. Honey mustard is like somebody who did time. <laughs> That's my sauce. Honey mustard? That's the sauce I would choose. Honey on mustard, anything? bro. Honey mustard. But, but, you dip but, but, fries in honey mustard. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, fries, call your uncle and tell him to fuck him in his it. mouth because it's incredible. Well, you don't even call him. My uncle's Gabe. Anyways, <laughs> but, but honey mustard, you get, but this buffalo, you can, or not buffalo. Barbecue. Barbecue, you can put it on a steak. You put it on chicken. You're putting honey mustard on a steak? Yeah. I mean, listen. You got me, okay? You got me. <laughs> because I'm not doing that. Yeah. Realistically, the sauce, I mean, it would, it would have to be sauce? ketchup. The worst sauce? <sighs> Balsamic? The fuck you doing in my Balsamic house? Balsamic on a... It's good. Sandwiches is great. I'm, it, say, I'm saying for like dipping. Oh. Horseradish sauce. No, horseradish is great. Is there a bad sauce? 
Is there? There's some that aren't as good. Relish? You guys like relish? Relish is good, but that's not really a sauce. Relish is like on a hot dog. I'm saying if you go to McDonald's and they have all the sauces uh, to choose from, what's like the one where you're like, meh? You know what the one that's underrepresented, but I actually fucking love it, is sweet and sour sauce. It does. Hit. When it hits, it hits. Oof. It's great with chicken nuggets. People jerk off to ranch. I think it's fine. People in love a salad, ranch. it's great, but like dipping like a nugget in there, it's kind of off. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's still McChicken good. McChicken is really good with. It, yeah, it's still good, but it's no, it's no like honey mustard. I barbecue. think that's what I miss the most about bread is a McChicken sandwich. Just do it. I don't. A dollar. I, I don't know why you don't just take a double dose of your pills and fucking just <laughs> go in. Just go in every Sunday. Say fuck my gut. Go in there, and then on Monday, sit in here and shit your brains out. Yeah, you got to do it. Yeah. Ah. I like made myself a McChicken today. I googled what's the McChicken sauce, and I like figured it out. And I oh, made it is it. a McChicken sauce. It's just like uh, it's mayonnaise and Tartar a little bit probably. of uh, like dry mustard and Whoa. onion powder. Dry mustard. I didn't use dry powder. mustard. I didn't have any dry mustard, but just a onion powder, like a seasoning onion powder. Isn't it so funny that there's recipes and they go like, have some dry onion powder, and you go, how about not, and it tastes the same? Yeah. <laughs> you just don't put it in there, it tastes the exact same. Yeah. Damn. Well, dude, we learned a lot. Learned so much. And we uh, have, what's we that? have a exceptional sock talk today. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's go. We have a sock talk that's, uh, this actually, so this, this is a good Patreon book. This came from the uh, Stiff Socks Discord uh, on Patreon, oh, yeah. but it's so good. I We couldn't just save it for, for Patreon. Uh, and you I can't like, get on the Discord unless you're a Patreon member. Just let you guys know. Correct. Yeah. Go ahead. So this is, a, this is a submission that came in from someone named Raging Storm. Um, Sounds like they, an X-Men. It, and they kind of are an X-Men. So they said, <laughs> this is what they wrote, their first message. They said, I have a friend that won't be my girlfriend, but she will send me nudes to draw on an Etch-A-Sketch. Yes, you heard me, an Etch-A-Sketch. I'm surprisingly good at Etch-A-Sketch, so my friend sends me her nudes so that I can draw them for her. NFT. So he's so good at the, he says he's so good at the Etch-A-Sketch that this girl sends him nudes. That is ruthless. What is she doing well, are with they, the Etch a sketch? Are they like hooking up or is she just like can you no, draw she just this? wants the she just I guess wants she thinks he's so good at the etch a sketch that she wants nudes of herself but drawn in etch a sketch. And the only way to get those is she has to send them to him so he can do it. But what is she doing? Like what is she is he like UPSing the etch a sketch to her house? Or is he taking a yeah, picture of the etch a sketch? Sh- it would get shaken up so quick. Yeah, I don't I'm I'm just so confused about why she needs I don't I don't understand the need from her. Wait until you see how good this guy is oh. at the Etch a Sketch. Okay, okay. Because he sent us some pictures of uh, Etch a Sketch drawings that he's done in the past. And, okay. Uh, uh, what random like a go gopher uh, or what? <laughs> animals? Uh, the, the pirate he ship. He does it all. Pirate ships. All right. So this is the first one. This is chicken. a chicken. It's what? a cock. Look but at not really. It's a chicken. Look at how detailed this chicken is. How the hell? Yeah, I'd be down for a. Bro, Gabe, he should do your Yaris exploding on the Etch-A-Sketch. Whoa. Dinosaurs! Look at this dinosaur. He's got a skull here. Again, just in- incredible. Damn. Language. So wait, Etch-A-Sketch means incredible. that it's all one stroke. There's no pick up the pen. This is all like with the knobs. Yes. Look at that pirate shit. Dude, I mean, I now I see why she wants the news. I mean, this is like some vintage shit. Yeah. So I just thought, have you ever been so horny that you uh, Etch-A-Sketch some nudes? It's pretty crazy. Title. The whole wow, way. go to the ship, dude. Yeah. That's like, I, I don't. This so is he's Adderall just, type. He's just beat. going, yeah, dude. He's just going kind of back and forth, left and right with the edges. Because you can't do a race unless you shake the whole thing, right? Yeah, edge of sketch. Holy shit. How much time did it take him to get good at edge sketch? So he has done the nudes, or she yeah. wants him to? Yeah, he's done the nudes. I mean, that is ruthless, bro. Yeah, because she like knows that he's into her. Have they she's just like sending nudes. He's like, hey, yeah. What does he get out of it? I mean, I guess he gets to see her nudes. Dude, and what he if likes he, her? What if, I mean, don't do this, but what if he sent her back? An edge a sketch of his dick? <laughs> Can't do that, but definitely funny. <laughs> He's like, here's my dick pic. Funny. That, I that thought we a, were trading nudes. Dude, that is an old time dick pic. Is there I'm a making better dick pic than go that? across the screen and then some. I'm yeah. getting three edge sketches. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting them back to back and fucking using duct tape to make it a one. Um, edge sketch. I didn't know edge sketches were still around. Apparently, yeah. So yeah, this. Is, wow. Uh, I want to know. Yeah, if you can write in and let us know how long like this pirate ship took. I'm so curious because it looks 
So detailed. Yeah, does this guy have a job? <laughs> <laughs> like, how does he have time? To, like, to, maybe he's just super good. It literally takes him like 20 minutes. The you skull ever, one's really good. Yeah. You ever seen like an artist who's like fucking fire and you're like, that must have taken two years. He's like, it took an hour and a half, you know? So maybe it doesn't take him a long time. That's so good. The, the thing that's creeping me out is like he doesn't, he doesn't lift like yeah it's all one motion it's all connected somehow yeah because if you look at this so it's i hadn't seen an etch sketch a long time yeah so you've got i think the the, does the left one go up and down and the right one goes yeah gabe can you bring up like a time lapse of someone doing a sick etch sketch so i can just like i just it doesn't it's not making any sense in my brain but and then my next question is what is she doing with the etch with the etch sketch like I'm really curious. What would she be the most fucked up if she got it back and then just shook it immediately? This is nuts. Is that Bob Ross? Yeah. Holy crap, Ola. Yeah, so it looks like it's just one continuous line. It starts right at the beginning, and then you just. I mean, do you think you could do? What do you think you could do on that sketch? I could probably do a bird. You think you could do a bird? Not a good one. I could do it. You a, ever seen the birds in like cartoons where it's just like a, a flat M? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoever did the flat M bird was like, this is fire. That's a bird. Birds that was a, like, is that my cousin Tony? That was a guy who forgot that birds are supposed to be in the picture. And he's like, how about these? Like, he just because yeah, birds aren't real. Birds aren't real. Do birds see other birds and be like, that's a bird? Or is that like, that's a homie? I don't like, think, if I see you, I'm not like, that's a human. Right. Do you I, think other birds are like, I don't think so. Cause I don't what think what fucking flock you flocking from. I don't think Greta knows the difference between a like human and a dog. I don't think she's like, oh, you're a human. Oh, you're a dog. I think, think? she's th- yeah. I just think she thinks that everyone's a thing, like the same thing. Yeah, you just gotta get rid of her. Yeah. Where? What? Gigi. <laughs> Are we still rolling? <laughs> Captain Gigi of the USS. I love you. That's that's yeah. that is that talk. is the wildest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. So thanks for uh, thanks for sharing that with us. Let's do a secret talk now. This Let's is do it. an anonymous submission that says, um, "I was hooking up with a girl at a party one time, and I had whiskey dick. After about ten you? after about ten minutes of back shots, I couldn't go anymore. So I said to myself in my head, okay, 'Okay, I'm gonna pull out and spin on her back. Pull out and spin on her back. Pull out and spin on her back. All right, ready? <laughs> one, two, three. And then I spit on her back, but I didn't pull out, and she looked." <laughs> She looked back at me and was like, did you just spit on me? And I was like, nah, that's just sweat. And then I just kept giving back shots. I didn't get my nut off that night. <laughs> wow. I, honestly, I've been in that position. I've thought about doing the same thing. I probably have done the same thing. You just, I, dude, I faked. That's why the before. hand thing is great. You go, oh, it came in my hand. And then she goes, let me see. And, and you then go, I licked it all off. Not bad. That's weird. <laughs> no, I've definitely thought about that before. The drunks, there's never. It just doesn't. Happen. Nobody's coming. You either go, listen, I'm so sorry, like I'm just too drunk, I'm not gonna go, or you just go, ha ha, fake come and you get out. Yeah, but where do you fake come? What do you mean? Do you take you take it out and you go? Uh, uh, f- uh. Yeah, but then she's gonna be like, whoa, where's the mess to clean up? I don't think no. Yes, dude. Everyone's. I don't think so. I don't think she's investigating. I don't think so. You think, what, is she going to rummage through your fucking duvet she's gonna be like, to find wait, the comp? She, no, she's going to be like, wait, where did you come? Yeah. I'm going to be like, what do you, they, this is the all-time greatest thing. You go, what do you mean? Gaslighter? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but what, what are you, that, there's no way yeah, if you're ask, like, oh, I ask finished. Me where, ask where the cum is. Where's the cum? What do you mean, dude? It's just, I, I don't know, man. I'm tired, <laughs> that bro. That sounds like somebody who didn't come. No. You, you, it's just, where is it? Hey, I don't, I I, honestly, I, I don't know. It's somewhere, it's somewhere. It's just, if shit, you shit. say, I don't know, look, if there's one thing you know during sex, it's where you're going to come. Nobody's ever been like, oh, I lost my cum again. Where'd I airdrop it to? <laughs> God damn, Which, where's my cum? <laughs> no, you, you know, like, she'd be like, wait, is, is it on the sheets? Like, do I need a towel? No, I'm good. Wait, wait, where did you finish? Like, honestly, I don't know, man. Somewhere in there, man. You 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 can't be like, I don't know, man. Then she's like, what are you fucking hustling me, dude? Listen, I've lost a cum or two. I don't know where it went. <laughs> I don't know, but that's the but you that's just say the airdrop and get out. Yeah, you just say Bluetooth. That's Blue it. Blue chew. But this that's why the best part of wearing a condom. You go, uh, uh-uh, and you take the condom, oh, you put hot yeah. sauce in it, and you throw it in the fucking garbage. One time I came insanely quick, and I blamed it on the condom. I was like, yes, yeah, you know, the condom, which is the opposite. It is. 
But I blamed it on the condom. Let me tell you something. I came lickety split one time. One time. Plenty of times. But I've came lickety split when I was in high school. And you know how when you're like young, young, you can come and stay hard? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I came. Yeah. I, I was fucking with cum in the condom. Isn't that crazy? Still plowing. I'm like. You're just and in my head, thin I'm like, ice. Oh, my God. In my ice head, thin. Yes. But I'm like, what am I doing? Like, and then it's just like, eventually. They then call you gotta, that shit iceberg lettuce. What the fuck is that going to do with an iceberg? Do you think this lettuce that's grown on an iceberg? What the fuck? What's the iceberg, an iceberg and, a gl- and a glacier? Do you think there's glaciers that want to be icebergs? There's icebergs that want to be glaciers. For sure. I think a glacier is the big body one. But is why it? is it called iceberg lettuce? Maybe it's cold like an iceberg. Do you think if I went on a boat and yelled, iceberg, and then threw a thing of a head of iceberg lettuce at the captain, yeah. I'd get my ass beat? Yep. You get okay. kicked off the shit. So you were fucking with nut in the condom. Yeah. And then you just don't feel anything because when you came, you're not yeah. going to come again. And then you just, then, you then just, it just feels rawr, rawr, like those squishy rawr. things everybody had in seventh grade. hundred percent. What are those things called? Come. Slippery somethings? Those things need to get fucked. They the slip, have slippery, been whatever the fuck they're called. By the thousands. Yes. Those are the first fleshlights. If I found one of those in my son's room, I'm not like, oh, there's no way he's just using this. Yeah. To pass time. I'm buying my son a flashlight. <laughs> okay. Well, we got two today from Miss Malkova. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you so much. Front one, and back. One's a butthole. I got to try it out. I haven't had butt sex in a while. What are it's, you doing, man? It's, oh, it's overrated. Is it? Everyone's like, oh, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You sound like a narc. Everyone's like, eh, eh, sex, sex, sex. Dad, just don't tell her you came. That's the funniest thing that you're somehow okay with on this video. Yeah, I just lie. Say I came. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. Gaslight. What do you mean? Oh, no. <laughs> what do you mean? Baby, dude, I'm trying. I, I don't, I need to clean up. Like, where is it? <sighs> I came in what? my, I came on my chest. Yeah. I'm wearing a t-shirt. It's it underneath. It's funny to come on yourself. Sometimes I'll talk shit to myself. Take it, bitch. <laughs> just go. Well, that part we know. Yes. I can see that. Yeah. You ever call yourself daddy? Give it to him, daddy. Call yourself daddy? No. Me neither. Well. <laughs> Guys, I made a grilled cheese with an iron. Fuck everyone. It we was delicious. Talk about that. We'll talk about it on the Patreon. It was funny, though. <clears throat> it was fire. Well, holy shit. Are we out of time, Gabriel? Yeah, this camera's about to die oh, any shit. second. Fuck. All right, guys, <clears throat> that is Make the episode. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, like, share, and subscribe on all the things. Our YouTube starting to pop off, so uh, get on there if you're not. Friend, the reminder, we have a Patreon. Uh, four extra episodes a month, ad-free, drops every Friday. We have crazy episodes, um, such as we interviewed Gabe, we interviewed Trev's girlfriend, um, wild episodes. Um, so yeah, only $5 a month, four extra episodes. Um, go on patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod. And uh, get on that. And uh, till next Wednesday, we love you guys. Bye, 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 bye.